In spite of reports to the contrary, earlier today, Baylor's rising star guard Davion Mitchell is still mulling things over as the Bears continue to celebrate a national championship. A Baylor team spokesperson says on Twitter, Mitchell will not make a decision before the parade schedule for next week. In response to a report this morning, Sham Sharanya from The Athletic originally reported earlier today that Mitchell would declare for the draft as a potential lottery pick. Yesterday, we talked about the fact that Baylor had become just the fifth school in the country to win national championships in both men's and women's hoops. But they did it in even more rare fashion than that. It's just the fifth time that that feat has been done in the same or consecutive NCAA tournaments. Here's where it gets even more mind blowing. It's only the second time it's been done at a school not named UConn. North Carolina won a men's title in 93 and a women's title the year after. UConn won a men's title in 99, a women's title the next year, and had sweeps in 2004 and 2014. It's something Scott Drew credits to the fans. Uh, but it was a great feeling. I just wanted uh, uh, the fans to be able to see what they helped us earn. Because without them, uh, we wouldn't have been able to do it. And uh, this is a, a we thing. So uh, uh, congrats to everybody, uh, you're all champs. The Bears also bring in one of the top recruiting classes in the country for next year. But first, the Bears will celebrate with a parade through Waco set for next Tuesday. It will start at 14th and Austin Avenue and will end at City Hall on South 3rd Street. You can watch the parade on air and online at KCENTV.com. We will also stream it on all of our social media platforms. Make sure you join us as the Bears celebrate their first national championship. Former Baylor Bear Freddie Gillespie is heading to the Great White North after signing a 10-day contract with the Toronto Raptors. Gillespie averaged 10 and a half points and 27.8 minutes per game this season with the G League's Memphis Hustle. He also pulled down 10 and a half rebounds a game during the season with Memphis starting in all 15 games. Entering today, Temple College had won three games in a row in softball and after some frustration during non-conference play, that could go a long way in building momentum. Lady Leopards hosting Cisco today in game two of a doubleheader. First inning starts off well for TC. After a leadoff walk, Madeline Gonzalez fans Maddie Murley for the first out. The rest of the frame is all Wranglers. On a pass ball, Peyton Vasquez makes a mad dash home. Cisco's up 1-0. Then Bailey Buck hits one to shallow center. Sarah Papazan scores. It's 2-0 Cisco. The Lady Leopards would come back, though, and make it five straight wins. Baylor's softball series scheduled for this weekend against number one Oklahoma has been postponed due to Big 12 Conference COVID-19 guidelines. This comes on the heels of the Lady Bears midweek doubleheader against Abilene Christian scheduled for yesterday being postponed for the same reason. Right now, Baylor is scheduled to return next Wednesday at home against Texas State. And finally, the roof is open on a beautiful Wednesday for baseball Rangers hosting the Jays. Bottom second, Nick Solak channeling his inner Adrian Beltre, crushing one over the wall and left off his knee. Solo shot, Rangers up one zip. In the eighth, Marcus Semien destroys one to left center. Vapor trail behind it. That cuts the Ranger lead in half, but the Rangers get the win. 2-1, your final score. That's it for sports.